If we take a closer look at Jungkook's journey and go beyond the flashy label of the golden maknae, we can see that there's a lot more to him than the polished, positive image that we're used to seeing. He's not just good at singing, dancing, rapping, and making music, he's pretty much a jack of all trades. People all over the world love him for his many talents, but there's a side of Jungkook's story that's not as well known. Even though now he's known as quite the ace and a global superstar, Jungkook, just like the rest of BTS, faced challenges that shaped them into the group that they are now. Jungkook had a pretty normal childhood with all of its usual experiences. He admitted to being very mischievous, loved playing outside, and got in trouble because he didn't like studying all that much. In fact, he said that he hadn't been planning on becoming a singer at first as he didn't know what he wanted to do with his life. Then he became interested in dancing. Well, he got into b-boying, checked out Big Bang, and from there, he decided singing was more of his thing as he dreamt of becoming as amazing as his idols. He put a lot of work into it despite his young age. Back in 2011, Jungkook took a shot at the South Korean talent show superstar K3 in Daegu. However, it was then when he became a lot shyer around people. After auditioning just for fun, Jungkook said, When I arrived at the audition hall, I became intimidated by the large crowd. I started to shrink after being surrounded by so many strangers. Despite his timid personality, everything ended up working out for him. He didn't make the cut for superstar K3, but seven entertainment companies saw a lot of potential in him and sought him out with all of them wanting to have them in their groups. However, trying to deal with all of this when he was only a child proved to be a challenge. In BTS's biography, Jungkook revealed a weird request that came from a company, and it gets even more disturbing when you realize that the request was made to a middle schooler. Jungkook shared that the people from this company wanted him to meet in a hotel room near the Superstar K3 audition venue to record a video of him singing for an audition. It could have been a regular thing, but you know how showbiz can be. Thankfully, he decided not to go and chose to train with Big Hit Entertainment, influenced by Nam Doon, who's now his fellow BTS member and leader. However, even though Bang Shi Hyuk of Big Hit Entertainment considered himself lucky that Jungkook chose his company to debut, the latter's shy personality almost ruined his chances of becoming an idol. In an interview from 2017, Bang Shi Hyuk surprised everyone by admitting that he wasn't sure whether Jungkook would actually debut with the group. He recalled a moment during Jungkook's time as a trainee when he was asked to sing, but he was so shy that he couldn't. In fact, he had spent about 15 minutes just twisting his body. His shyness almost held him back because he kept his real talent hidden, and the big hit executives ended up having a not-so-great opinion of him. Bang Shi Hyuk recalled, The company evaluation was that he couldn't even debut because he didn't have the talent to. You can't really blame him for feeling the way that he did, though. Just imagine this. He was a 15-year-old that was practicing very hard so he could debut in a city that was foreign to him where he didn't know anyone. Talking to Kang Ho Dong on Give Me a Meal, Jungkook shared how challenging it is for him to connect with people. Growing up alone as a trainee in Seoul during his trainee years made it tough for him to open up. Holdong understood him perfectly, acknowledging the societal difficulties Jungkook faced early on, especially considering that he was only 15 when he started doing this. Jungkook also mentioned that his history of being on his own makes it hard for him to be genuine around new people. According to him, when meeting someone for the first time, he feels a barrier and is always thinking about how to befriend them or make them like him. When BTS and Big Hit Entertainment first started off, they were newbies in the industry. Being on the smaller side, they had a tough time getting noticed next to the more famous groups. Their starting point was a tiny dorm with three bunk beds, a constantly busy bathroom, and not much room for their stuff. Jungkook particularly wasn't treated the best as the youngest. On You Quiz on the Block, Jungkook even talked about being the youngest and having to wait for everyone to doze off before showering. According to a former big hit trainee named Jihoon, everyone had noticed Jungkook because he was known for having a perfect pitch and being a real all-around guy able to pull off anything he put his mind to. Jihoon even pointed out how impressed he was with Jungkook's skills and determination. After all of his efforts, Jungkook was able to debut, but it didn't get any easier for him or the group. Seeing their success now, you'd think that they had always been famous, but that wasn't the case. In fact, Jungkook, along with his members, were pretty mistreated. A particularly tough time for them was even broadcasted on the reality show American Hustle Life. In one episode, the members can be seen handing out flyers on Hollywood Boulevard, inviting people to a free concert. They also had their share of challenges on other Korean variety shows. Even though they rarely got invited to them, the host still found ways to mistreat them. When Jungkook appeared on the variety show Flower Crew, he offered burgers and sodas to the hosts, but they turned him down, saying that the burgers looked like leftovers, even though Jungkook insisted that he sincerely brought them. Fans noticed he seemed on the verge of tears during the broadcast. It's a moment that gets brought back a lot from BTS's past, and seeing Jungkook get treated like this when he was just trying to be nice is heartbreaking. Once he debuted in the 
group started gaining recognition, Jungkook took it as a sign to work even harder to the point that it was worsening his health. In episodes 2 and 3 of the documentary Burn the Stage, it was revealed to fans that despite his constant stellar performances during BTS's 2017 The Wings tour, Jungkook wasn't at all that well during the concert and ended up collapsing afterwards. After the concert, Jungkook shared that he didn't think that he would be collapsing. It was a first for him and quite surprising. Namjoon mentioned that it was too hot and Jungkook pushed himself too much, causing the collapse, but he kept going because he wasn't sure when he'd get to see the fans in Chile again. His mental health wasn't at his best either. In BTS's book, Jungkook reveals that the time that the group performed at the 2017 AMAs was really difficult for him. He shared that one time, once filming finished, he went to drink alone and realized that he was feeling very hopeless. He started to speak to himself in front of the camera as if he was recording a YouTube video and was then accompanied by Jimin who went to look for him. The two got to talking and Jungkook started to open up, making Jimin really emotional. He said, Listening to what he had to say, I learned for the first time just how much he was struggling and I cried a lot. I had no idea. Their hard work really paid off in the end. Despite all the hardships, BTS grew a lot globally and domestically, making them household names in the music industry. However, as they became more famous, BTS encountered another fair share of challenges. They had to deal with a lot of hate and rumors, especially under the constant scrutiny of the public and media. Jungkook in particular, being one of the most popular members of the group, faced a lot of backlash for things that weren't necessarily his fault or things that weren't very big deals. He faced criticism for wearing a hoodie his brother made during a live stream, for eating an apple, skipping stairs, pouting his lips, doing laundry, sleeping, and other ridiculous things. One time when he choked on water, people accused him of shading Hwasa, and when he simply mentioned a girl's septum piercing, people said that he was making fun of her. Not to say that he's above criticism, but he's only human after all, but some people seem to hate him for the sake of hating. Now that Jungkook has debuted as a soloist, he's getting even more hate for the direction he chose to go in with his solo music. Golden is far from the worst album that has come out this year, yet people act like Jungkook committed a crime by releasing releasing a pure pop album. It's more than fine not to like it. Everyone has their own tastes after all, but calling him all sorts of names because he released music that doesn't match everyone's expectations is just vile. A recent review of his album was particularly harsh, even writing, it's degrading to use music as a means and not as an end. Again, nothing wrong with not liking the album, but saying that it's degrading that he's releasing music that's typically pop seems targeted towards him rather than actual criticism or review that's a product of the music critic's thoughts. Fortunately, don't Cook prevails over all the hate. Golden became a double million seller within five hours of its release, selling over 2.1 million copies on its debut day. The lead track, Standing Next to You, made history on Spotify's Today's Top Hits with more than 42 million streams on its first day. He also performed in front of a massive crowd at Times Square in New York, a performance that managed to draw in even the people that weren't fans. In conclusion, watching Jungkook go from a shy boy to a global superstar has been quite a journey, but seeing how happy he is to be performing in front of his fans makes everything worth it. Share your thoughts about Jungkook in the comments and thank you for watching. Bye guys!